Um, good morning, everyone. I hope you had fun over the summer. Cool! Okay, so let's have fun! Yup, yup! What is this fun? Once summer's over, time starts slipping by faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Focus, sir! Focus! Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> A second term. Huh? Is that... A student ID? Whose is it? Someone from 2-2? Two -two? Not a name I recognize. I should go to find their classroom. They might already have gone home, though. Well, any teacher will do, right? Sir! Sir! No. Oh. Hello, Karina. Did you forget to turn in your homework? I found someone's ID card, sir. It's someone from 2-2. Two -two. I thought I should take it there. Or here. No, thank you, Karina. I can take care of it. Huh? What is it? Nothing. You did find us today, right, Dornmouth? Yeah, just right outside the door. This student's been absent since the middle of June. How strange. So then, there was a card lying there all summer? No birdie noticed it? It's awfully clean, though. Shouldn't it at least be dusty? Oh shit, is there a mystery going on here, you guys? Is there a fucking mystery? Am I gonna become a scientist? D or a detective? <laughs> I get them confused sometimes? Anyway, I'll take care of it. Thank you, Dwayne Myth. Today's an elective day. What should I do? Oh shit, I think last time I did math. Not gym music. <laughs> Just fuck gym. Oh no, I forgot my recorder. I don't think we have any spares. I do have my hitchiriki at least. You can play that? We assume we have a problem. What do we have a problem with, Tom Hanks? Karina leveled up her charisma by five. Good morning. What the heck is going on? The classroom is filled with the cloud of dancing feathers. Did some? Did somebody eviscerate a down pillow or something? Ryota, what? Maybe they didn't clean up properly yesterday. It's molting season, so well, one little breeze, and it looks like this. Unless we make sure to keep everything clean. Now that I look closely, Ryota's head feathers are looking a little loose, too. I guess every birdie's growing themselves new outfits. Good morning, everyone. Sir, can we clean up a little bit before homeroom? Cleaning in the morning? This atmosphere is quite distracting. Who was supposed to clean yesterday? Okasan! Okasan. Sorry. Okasan means mother, doesn't it? I've been saying Okasan this whole time. Mom! <laughs> so that, doesn't that mean mom? You know, Dosan. I don't fucking know Japanese. Who am I kidding? Wretched mongrel. Can't you even fulfill a duty given to you? Come on now. Arguing won't solve anything. It'll be easier if we all pitch in. And so we all swab the room down before homeroom. This is a lot of feathers. Not enough for a futon, but I bet we can make a nice pillow. It's certainly more than usual. Did they come from the window, perhaps? Huh? Sir, um, did you spill some... Clo chlorine on yourself? What? Chlorine? You don't use that kind of detergent. Uh, but you really smell like it. Oh, that would be the bleach. Bleach? Sir, are you... Are you one of those degenerates who bathes in 
bleach powder? Oh no no, I dozed off and got stuck in the washing machine last night! That's all! Oh shit, sir. What the hell? <laughs> Just be careful, man. Oh yes, oh no. I guess there wasn't any way he was going to stay awake after helping us clean the room. How did he get a job? Today's a school festival. Our class decided to do a maid cafe. I'm not scheduled to work until tomorrow, so I have today off. I don't have anything to do, so I guess I'll go look around. Where to go? Where to go? Let's see. <laughs> Grietta, wait! What's up, Ryuta? Are you free right now? We've got more, way more customers than we expected, and we could really use another waitress. You're right, where are they all coming from? Leave it to me, Ryota. I'll give them a taste of my super maid technique. And so I never ended up looking around the festival. Only maids now. Hmm. Nah. I handed in my recorder instead of my math homework. What do I do? Mr. Nanaki, still in the staff room? Excuse me. Huh? Mr. Nanaki and Dr. Iwamine. Iwamine. I hadn't expected to see them together. And you see nothing in peculiar about these numbers? Nothing at all! There's a statistical deviation visible in the data on the students from the past few years. I had hoped to get some insight from you, but... It would seem I have... overestimated you. Really? I'm sorry I couldn't help, and... <clears throat> Ow. Oh, fuck. Yeah, not siding with the fucking crazy doctor. That's not very nice, doctor. What do you want? Well, hello, Dormif. What is it? Um, sir, I gave you my recorder earlier instead of my homework. Oh, so you did. Here you go. Here's the workbook. Thank you, sir. Sorry, sir. Like teacher. Like pupil. And the doctor is, is the person that's kidnapping the students. I'm just, I'm just like escalating this whole thing really quickly. We found a student ID. The person's been missing since June. Bam, let's run with it. Ah, today was good. A true real life. The true real life? I think I'll go home and spend some fulfilling time before going to bed. Rihanna! Hey, Ryuta. You know where Mr. Nanaki lives, right? Yeah, why do you ask? He left his phone in the staff room. He's already left, but you know how slowly he moves. If you hurry, you could catch up with him before he gets home. I could take it to him, but I need to run some errands for my mother before I go home. So I was wondering, maybe you could do it. Uh, sure, I'm not doing anything. Thank you! Mr. Nanaki's phone. Now that I think about it, I don't know anything about his personal life. Is he always as uh, spacey as he is at school? Probably spends... 97? Um, question mark, question mark of his time home asleep? Hmm. A piece of paper fell out of the phone case. What's this? <gasps> it's a photo. A photo of a bird, but I can't see the face at all. Someone scribbled all over it. Did Mr. Nanaki do this? It doesn't seem like him at all. I'll just put this back in the case. Maybe I should pretend I didn't see it? Sir! Oh, hello, Dornmith. Where are you going? You look like you're in a hurry. Sir, you forgot your cell phone. I'm not your fucking secretary, by the way, sir, so don't do this bullshit again. Oh, so I did. Thank you for coming after me with it, Dornmith. That was very nice of you. 
No problem, sir. Um... Hmm? Was there something else? What should I do? Oh, no. We gotta... We have to ask about the photo because we gotta solve a mystery, guys. Ask about the photo. Sir, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to look inside, but something fell out. Fell out? Um, the picture? I... Ah, uh, yes, that... Hmm. Don't worry about it. After all, it's not something you need to worry about, right? I'm curious. It was almost completely marked out. Yes. Because... I... marked it out. He... he did? I never would have believed it from someone else, but since it's him saying so... Well, see you tomorrow! And so he left, with a farewell as carefree as if we'd just been talking about the weather. He... has a side I've never seen, doesn't he? Can <laughs> just make it stupidly dramatic. Chun chun! Ah, it's that time of year when I... The chill is outside gradually breaks down my soul. Well, I'm done cleaning, so I guess it's time for me to go home. Huh? Where's my phone? I remember looking at the Daily Portal Z during break, so... I can't le have left it at home. We had chemistry lab today, right? Maybe I left it in there. The door is open. Good. There it is! Sitting right at the bench where I worked at. Sorry, were you lonely? Come on, let's go. Let's head home. Am I talking to my phone? Ah! I bumped into. Thick. You again. Has your life no purpose aside from meddling with me? No, I. What is he even doing here? He came out of the chemistry prep room, right? Alone after school in the lab. What were you doing? <laughs> My voice dropped and sorry about that. Uh, I left something behind. Did you see anything? Uh... I'm asking if you saw... What are you? What is he talking about? Would it be a problem if I had seen something? Very well. May I ask you a favor, Miss Dornmiff? Yeah, what is it? Could you bring me the files from the prep room? The black ones on the desk. Isn't the prep room right here? They are somewhat heavy for me, but I am sure you will have no problem with them. Would you mind? No, 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 sir. I'm not sure I could get away with saying no. I'll just do as he says. Files, files, which ones? I don't see anything like what he asked me for. Huh? Oh, wait! I'm locked in? Doctor! Doctor, let me out! What are you doing? Let me out! Brute! Villain! Fluffy heretic! No reply. The building's going to be locked soon, and I didn't tell anyone I was coming here. Ah! Somebody help me! The doctor let me in here! Locked! Locked! Not let! Well, he did let me in here, but then he locked me in! Why did he do that? There is no reason to unless... He, he thinks I saw something I shouldn't have. Oh, this must be his way of shutting me up or removing the evidence. That's probably it. I'm in despair! This evil doctor who will probably be coming back with a cleaver or something has left me in despair. I'm not sure I can make it out of the window. But I have to get out of here. Quickly, how can I? <gasps> Footsteps. Coming closer. I have to hide. But there's nowhere to hide in here. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't! 
Uh huh. What are you doing here, Dornmith? School is already closed. <sighs> Mr. Nanaki! I thought I heard noises coming from over here. Were you banging on the door, Dornmith? That's not good. The door isn't a punching bag. I think I can see a halo around his head. I can practically hear angels. Oh, I'm alive! Sir, I... There's something dangerous in here. So don't come in without asking, okay? I, I didn't come from my own record accord, the doctor! That's right. I asked her to. You did? Indeed. I am truly sorry. I completely forgot I'd asked her to get something and I locked her in and walked off. You locked the door as soon as I walked in here. Who are you, Clive Waring? Is that it? Well then. This whole thing stinks of ill-doing, Mr. Nanaki. But the doctor said it was an accident. I think it might be best if you went home as soon as possible this time of year, Dornmuth. It gets dark so quickly. That is true. I wanted to leave early, but then all of this happened. Well then, I'll head home now. Stay safe. We'll have a career plan survey tomorrow, so don't forget to print out a form... The printout from earlier today. Guys, there's there's some evil foot here, you know? I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I'm gonna solve it. Dornmuth is a very honest, nice girl, isn't she? Though she is a little bit restless. I agree completely. Anyway, I shall excuse myself for now. Goodbye. Doctor? Yes. That was a little sloppy. You failed to pay sufficient attention to your surroundings. That sort of thing will be the death of you, you know. Just kidding! Accidents like that happen to everyone! And you remembered to come and let her out at the end, so don't worry about it! Yes. Thank you, Professor. Oh shit. What's going on, guys? This is getting weird! This game actually has a plot! <laughs> Other than dating a bird! We get our finals back today. Between midterms and practice exams, this whole semester has been nothing but tests. Thorn Miss! Sir! You're getting better, keep it up! Yes, sir! The sun, its majestic brilliance, sweeps across land, lighting into... it into incandescent glory. It's beautiful, guys! It's the first day of the new year. Looks like I'm still alive to enjoy it. It's a little cold out, but it's calm and the sun is warm. I think I'll go visit, uh, the shrine. There's a lot of your birds already. Oh, wow. <laughs> Dyslexia hits. There's a lot of birds here already. Must be nice to have warm winter plumage. Maybe I should borrow some from some birdie. I think I'll buy an amulet and go home. Grianna! Rita, why are you always wearing such cute little outfits? I'm super jelly. Happy New Year! Here's to many happy returns, right? What are you doing, Ryuta? What exact- exactly what it looks like! I'm working here today and tomorrow! Oh, looks good on you. You came here to buy an amulet, right? Which one would you like? Um, I'd like one for... Fulfillment at school, fulfillment at art. Ah, we'll go with art. I'm an artsy person. Here you go! Thank you, Ryuta. Are you here all day today? 
Yep, it's first day is always busy. Oh, well, I was going to ask if you wanted to get lunch together, but... Sorry, Kriana. Maybe some other time. Since you're here, why not go get a fortune? They're next to the main building over there. Okay, thanks. See you, Ryuta. Yeah, he's a nice guy. I, mis I misspoke about giving him... Hmm. Mr. Nanaki, Happy New Year. Oh, hello, Dormouth. Happy New Year! Did you get your fortune start? Yes, unfortunately, I seem to have drawn the chicken of ill omen. Why don't you take one? I will. Hmm, which one should I take? This one. Bob White Blessing. Good, you got a better one than I did. I think this will be a good year for you, Dornmouth. Thank you, sir. Happy New Year, everyone! I hope you all had good vacations. I hibernated! What a shocker! You're still hibernating, sir! Wake up! No. No. I've said this before, but your junior year will be over before you know it. Let's enjoy this time while it lasts! There's nothing special this semester. Nothing to worry about. Most splendid and greatest academy. Third term. Hot full boyfriend. It's still light out, so maybe I'll go somewhere before I head home. Whee! Oh, tomorrow's... Legumentitime? What? I think I'll buy some beans. Today, Legumentitime holiday is where you give beans to a boy you like, but apparently it used to involve... Plan Valentine's. Hey, like the, the 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 special. This this is the best Valentine's Day special. It works. It's used to involve throwing them at pigeons. Disgraceful. Good evening. Here for beans. Yes. Is there any kind that you think is particularly good? Yes. This year's trends trend is uh, towards these beans. The they, these bean medley for racers, but they are a bit pricey. It's hard to say without knowing the bird in question would like, really. Wow, I butchered that entire statement. Hmm, that's true. And sometimes the cheap ramen tastes better than the expensive stuff. I think I'll buy... I'm gonna say, let's give the calm corn, because I think that's what the teacher would like most. Bitter black beans, no, he's not bitter. Country millet, seems more Ryuka style. Uh, swollen hemp, I don't know. Racing blend, that's definitely the, the, the racing bird. Okay, we'll buy calm corn. I'll take these. Thank you, miss, here you go. Today's the day. The preparations are complete. Time to give the beans to the special summer birdie. Sir, Mr. Nanaki! Hello, Dornmouth. What is it? Um, today is Legumentitimes. Just rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Uh, I want to give you some beans! You want to give them to me? Are you sure that's okay? You don't have someone else? No, sir. I want to give them to you, sir! I don't know what kind of things you like to eat, so I wasn't sure which to get, but... I like anything, as long as it's not a terrible prank. What kind of girl would play a prank on Ligamenentines? Yeah, that, that would be kind of a dick move, like going up to a guy and being like, So I'm giving you this Valentine's Day gift. Just kidding! And <laughs> like, what a bitch. Please take this, sir. Hmm, they look good, thank you. Sir, I hope I'm in your class again next semester. I hope. <sighs> sir, this is important. You have to listen, sir. Is that on purpose? That was on purpose, wasn't it? The semester's almost over. In a few short days, I will no longer be a sophomore. 
But there's one thing I have left to do first. One thing I need to do. Hello, Dornmiff. What is it? Asking me to meet outside is a little odd. If it's about your career plan, don't worry. You're still a sophomore. You don't have to decide for a few months yet. N no sir, I, I wanted to ask you something. Oh, please do. Sir. I like you. Is that... is that all right? You do say the strangest things, Dordmuth. I like you too. You're kind, smart, you work hard. I, 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 I didn't mean like that. Mm hmm? Listen. Oh, listen. <laughs> My voice changed for a moment. I'm no longer able to love another creature. It's not your fault, Dornmuth. I'm sorry. No longer able to love another creature? What does that mean? You saw it, remember? Uh, saw what, sir? A photo. Yeah, sir, I didn't mean to. Don't worry about it. I knew you wouldn't lie. I suppose I should tell you. That was the, a photo of the most important bird in my life. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't mean to come between... I thought we could live through anything. Just the two of us. I think we meant more to each other than any birdie else in the world. But... One day I looked around. I was alone. Life changed after that. I stopped caring about a lot of things. I can never forget. Never forget our life. Our promises. I'm not sure how to say this. As I looked at that photo every day, I realized I couldn't tell anymore. I couldn't tell if I felt love when I saw that face or if I felt a hatred. Oh, I... I think losing someone dear is uh, painful for everyone. After a while, I... I couldn't stand to say it anymore. So you... That's right. But even as I tried to forget, some part of me didn't want to. You see now, right? I don't want to love again. By now, the love I felt has soured into resentment. Rather than forcing all that hatred onto, so onto one person, I... I think it's better to love everyone around you just enough that you won't regret losing them. That's... that's... that's a real bummer, sir. You don't agree, Dornmuth? I love your kindness, sir. But when I see that kindness bringing you pain, I have to wonder if there isn't a better way. Ha <laughs> ha I wonder. By the way, there's one more thing I should tell you. Hmm? That photo. It's gone now. I burned it. Eh? When you saw it, it made me think about things again. I never would have shown it to anyone, so I was rather shaken. We both knew that one of us would be gone one day, and neither of us would have wanted the other to mourn. So as I looked at the photo, I thought it was better, better to put it away, so I burned it. Sort of as an apology for defacing it like that. You, you, bur you burned it for deface- oh, sorry. I should remember the beautiful face I knew, not, not a photo covered in scribbles. Oh. Dornmiff, just because I'm a teacher doesn't mean you should always look up to me. That doesn't have anything to do with it! But I understand that you don't want to forget her, sir. I have an, I have an idea, Dornmiff. I will be waiting here at this school forever. If after you've grown up a little and you still feel the same way, I'll be here for you. Sir, that's... I don't like to make idle promises, but... I'm sure you'll grow up into a wonderful person, Dormith. So let's wait until then. Yes, sir! Graduating, growing up, and then coming back here. That will be another story. I don't know what he will say to me on that day. I don't know what I will feel, or what he will feel, but right now I am truly happy. go.
We did it, guys. We found love that will happen hopefully maybe in a few years. Okay, that wasn't really all that terribly successful. But! It was a love story, kind of, sort of, maybe. On this day. That is... Valentine's Day. I'm not yawning. I'm totally yawning. Thank you all for watching. And, uh... And I will see you next time. Stay cool, guys. Stay cool.